And then if you'd help me remember to uh, stop the video after the demo, that would be great. So I am um, using DOIG as a um, inspiration for this uh, demo. And we're taking one of his paintings that is done with very meaningful brush strokes. Every brush stroke counts. Just two colors, this purple gray and this gold up here. And I'm doing my own version using this photo and um, as my inspiration, I'm going to use two or three colors. And so, and so the lights and darks of the, of the colors matter because you're you're using them to say so much. So try to keep that in mind when you're working. I kind of like these windows up here. And I like how there's no dark darks in this either. I'm going to try to keep it all. And I think that pushes it more into like a dream feeling instead of everything being perfect, the, the values all being perfect. Instead, let's let it, let it, let's let it be dreamy. I almost want, you know what, I think I almost want to switch to this big brush because the thing I love about this big brush is it has a great tip on it. So it, some all my lines are feeling a little clunky. I can get some thinner lines with this. That's what a nice brush will do for you. I like this feeling of the porch up here. Let me try to include that in, into my picture. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter version of this. This will be the color, actually, the, the, sort of the color of the house. I'm going to be adding a door there. I'm going to find a little bit more of the um, porch down here. And I want to use a little bit of this um, in these trees back here for the branches. So I see a tree there that's kind of inspiring me. There's another one over here. It's definitely thinking it outside of the box. It's really it's challenging me in a way that I don't normally think. And that's, that's why it's healthy uh, for the artist to try it. And then I'm going to make this the shoreline right here. I do want to sort of get that dock in there. I really like that dock. And that just gave me a great idea for the title. What's up, Doc? <laughs> It was terrible. It was terrible. But I, I had to. I couldn't stop myself. And, and then I really like this little suggestion of a, a patio or a walkway up here. And then these there's stairs that come down that way. And now I'm going to start in with my second color. And um, it's going to be the pyrrole, um, scarlet pyrrole, that orange that I like so much. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of ochre and a little bit of red will be my second color and i want it to not overpower the the gray too much so i'm going to use it a little bit lighter so here comes this orange this tree this orange tree above the roof and then i like this little branch coming this way and these little pieces of green, I'm sorry, of orange and yellow coming that way. And I am going to sneak a third color in, just a little bit of yellow, uh, because I think that that's, that is, um, it wants it with that purple. It just wants it. So then we got this yellow tree coming in from this side. And I'm thinking not in terms of all the tiny little leaves, but I'm trying to think more in terms of um, the shapes, the old bigger shape. So this kind of comes up this way. We kind of missed the roof up there, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Now the house is more facing a straight on. They kind of to kind of turn turn that house. That's all right. It's okay. And then um, here comes more of the purple. This is why I love a good, just a good brush. You can do so much of the painting with just that brush. 
And then for the reflections, I think that what I want is something that's a little bit more suggestive. Like here's the color of the house. It's going to be a shape rather, a, a piece of color rather than a shape of a house. And for the yellow, same. This is going to be yellow down here. Because I love the way this is just a yellow shape under the tree. You don't see any of the leaves or the branches or anything. You just see the shape. And then um, we're going to get some of that orange in here as well. Here. Just let that be a part of it. And I still have to get in the boat with the hand in the water. So that's going to take a minute. But I'm not going to do that on this camera. Now, that's too joyish. How do you say a lot with a little? You know what I mean? Just, and I know that that's, it's a little bit to wrap your head around, but that's the point. That is sort of the point of this. And so I'm going to add a little bit more red to this. And you know, what's interesting to me and I, and I, um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying it's something that I've noticed is that there is a real a small army of doig painters out there now um, that and I, by that i mean when i'm looking stuff in the galleries mostly online lately uh, i see somebody who's trying to emulate doig in their work and there's nothing wrong with that um, that's how impressionism got started that's how Pointillism, or somebody else did it first, and then other people want to get into the head of that artist and try that themselves. Um, so what's nice about it, though, is that everybody sort of is finding their their own way of of doing it. And so, but you have to be careful um, when you do that not to look just like the other person. Do you know what I mean? That's where you run into trouble. Even if it's a wonderful painting, it still isn't quite yours, if you know what I mean. So that's that's the the danger of that um, is to just not uh, be too much like that artist, be inspired by them. Like a ton of people were, were inspired by Picasso and did their own thing. That's the right way to right way to look at that. And so the, the one thing they've done here is that it's it's winter and so there's no leaves on the tree or anything so they're not working with those colors so we are though so i'm going to just sort of do my own version of of this so a pine tree back there and it's just going to be represented by the purple but i think it should fall into the back And then I might want to get just a little bit darker, darker version of the paints gray and the, and the uh, violet. And I'm just going to like let this let this come forward a little bit more over here by making this a little bit darker. You want some darks. I like the little hints of branches that I see here and there through the background. There's trees coming through. All right. What do you think? Good start. Nice. How do you know it's not finished? Because you're not done yet. Because I said so. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. But I got to tell you, that was sort of fun. And it was a little, and it was hard for me, I'm not going to lie, uh, to use that kind of restraint, just a couple of three colors, and um, trying to get into the head of someone else. But the, the whole thing felt very interesting, because when you are saying each 
mark counts. You really, it, it puts it's a different um, perspective on, on that. So um, is everybody ready to give this a try? Sure. Yeah. No. I'm going to switch. I'm going to put those pictures up on the screen um, so that you can work from those. Oh, stop the recording.